Hi, I'm Vectors EVP of Communication and Brand, Vicki Zambito, and I'm here today with our new Chief Customer Officer, Jeff Chapman. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you, Vicki. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Now, I'm looking at you and I can tell that you're in the, the Tampa office right now, but that's not where you and your family call home, is it? No, no. We... Um... I'm a little bit of a nomad, uh, originally born and raised in Ohio, small town called Worcester, Ohio, lived overseas in the UK for a couple of years with a job, lived in Atlanta for about six years. Uh, but since 2010, we uh, live in a town called Bolingbrook, which is about uh, 30 miles outside of Chicago in Illinois. So uh, my wife, uh, my wife's whole family's there, mine's still back in Ohio. And once we had children, we um, uh, decided to move a little closer to family. So you must have done your job search outside of the Chicago area because you landed here at Vector. Uh, what are you most excited about? I'm, I'm just I'm excited about the, the passion and the mission that, that we do with our customers. Uh, first of all, the depth and breadth of our customers, 34,000 customers, um, over 31 million users is, is outstanding. Uh, and, and the fact that, you know, the, the mantra of safer, smarter, better is something that's really passion driven. And I going through the interview process, you know, I'd actually looked at a, an opportunity in Chicago and, you know, looked at one in obviously in Tampa and uh, just having a conversation with Mark and, and with Scott and understanding the passion that they brought to the table. Uh, it was it was a no brainer. I'm uh, just really excited to be here. So chief customer officer, that's a pretty cool title. What what does a CCO actually do? It's a great question. Um, and I'm still learning. Uh, it's, you know, I joined, I joined in February. We have, and we're, we're in the midst of uh, going through a rebrand right now. So uh, we're actually going to rebrand our, our team from customer ops to customer experience because uh, customer experience is really the perception of the, the interactions that customers have with us, which is everything. Um, if, if we have bumps along the way, which we're going to, but we give them a good, valuable customer experience, they'll walk away potentially being satisfied and hopefully being loyal to, to the organization as, as we're loyal to them. So uh, my job is really to, to get the organization in a place where we can best serve our customers. Um, so they want to come back, they want to stay with us, and, and ultimately we help their, their end users achieve the goals that they've set out. So this isn't your first job. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your first job? And I mean, you can go way back. Like, for example, my first job was at Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. So I don't know if you had a high school Great. job or what. Yeah, so my very first job. So uh, Worcester, Ohio mm -hmm. is, is best known for uh, Rubbermaid home products. So Rubbermaid was headquartered. Stanley Galt, the famous Stanley Galt, who was on the cover of Fortune, lived in the small town of Worcester, Ohio. People were moving from all over to come to Worcester, Ohio. Uh, and I actually, my mom worked there for 20 some odd years. I actually started in the factory. So I was cutting plastic off of trash cans, working on the factory line and everything like that. And I'll never forget, uh, never forget a gentleman came to me and, you know, people were very nice. And he said, you know what? He said, I, I have my degree as well. Um, got it in horticulture. He said, after you get your degree, you're going to be begging to come back here. And I, it, it really proved to me I didn't. There's nothing wrong with factory work. It's fantastic. But that wasn't for me. So that's when I went into computer science as, a, as an undergraduate degree. So it sounds like you actually have some industrial manufacturing uh, experience that you could apply to our commercial marketing market segment. I do. And my, actually my, <laughs> first, my first real job out of college, I worked with a company that focused around uh, automotive clutches and torque converters. So I was on the IT side of the house rolling out doing you know, project management work. But yeah, it's, uh, I, I love the manufacturing space. Big fan. What do you like to do when you're not working? I love spending time with my family. I travel a lot. So I've got two small kids, Maya and Dean, who are uh, 10 and 12. Um, my wife and I have been married, um, gosh, it'll be 18 years this year. Um, I love working out. Uh, that's how I de-stress. That's, that's one of the things I pride myself on is trying to uh, maintain with all the stress of the job and everything that goes along with it is trying to stay uh, physically active. And, you know, and mostly I, I love in the evenings, love watching movies with my kids. It's one of my favorite things to do. So you're always so you're always reading articles about how successful people start their day. So can you tell us what your morning routine is? I wake up and I go to the gym. I wake up. Normally, I, I say this that my one of my trainer gets really mad because I, I typically take a, a morning supplement to get me going because I need fake energy because I you know sometimes I don't sleep that well. And uh, but yeah, I wake up, I go to the gym, I come back, eat a very light breakfast, and then try and start as early as I can because that that gets my mind um, going in the right right frame of mind and. You know, I like to get started typically before other people get in the office because that's when a lot of I can get a lot of work done. Now, on the flip side, I crash pretty early at night. So I, I will <laughs> by eight, nine o'clock, no matter what time zone I'm in. That's when I just kind of like uh, I just kind of shut down and want to get to bed as soon as I can. 
Uh, I'm with you. I'm an early bird as well. I am not a night owl. So, okay. Now it's time for our lightning round. We'll wrap things up. So I'm going to give you a choice of this or that, and you just go with your gut, okay? Let's do it. All right. Football or basketball? Basketball. Played it in college. It's good. Superman or Spider-Man? Oh, Superman. Easy. Sand or snow? Uh, I like warm, but I hate sand, so I'm going to say snow. <laughs> pineapple on your pizza or no way? Oh, yeah. Pineapple. Let's do it. Instagram or Facebook? Uh, probably Instagram if I was forced to choose. Okay. Disney World or Universal Studios? Just did Universal literally last week. I'm going to say Disney. Oh, you. <laughs> I, I love I love Universal, but I'm I'm a big Disney fan. All right, Coca Cola or Pepsi? Coke. Comedy or horror? Comedy, no question. Pool or ocean? Pool, no sand. And my final, it's the same for everyone because we really want to know: cats or dogs? Dogs. <laughs> Although I'm allergic, I'm allergic. I grew up with a dog, but now I'm allergic. So my kids are begging me for one, but yes, I, I love dogs. So Jeff, I just want to thank you for your time today um, and opening up on these topics. I will let you get back to strategizing on ways to improve our customers' experience, but thank you. Thank you, Vicki.